Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, and welcome to today's introduction of the next set of tales. And this is called the Tales of the Traditional Kings. And this is, again, part of the Irish Celtic, ancient Irish Celtic stories. And this is just a quick introduction to it today, and then tomorrow we'll get at telling the stories. Many of, well, the most interesting early Irish tales deal with not Finn or his companions and the Ulster heroes or Ireland's early settlers, but with the traditional kings of Ireland or with persons connected with them. These kings are by no means all fictitious. The existence of many of them in this duly attested by historical evidence. Upon their historical deeds, there is, however, often, while well, inflated, such a massive legend that what is truth and, well, what is not is very undistinguishable between the two. Though these stories do not fall into any one of the main cycles, the early Irish literature, and we should recall that some of them come from an authentically ancient period and may have originally formed parts of the other cycles and have now all, well, but disappeared. Certainly the Irish literature would be much more the poor without the spirit of accounts of the Leprechaun King and the King cured of his gluttony by the ruse of a wandering queen. So sit back, smash that subscribe button, and enjoy the next set of oh.